All right, so today we are gonna go over how I maintain my bike's finish and keep it clean. And uh, just some general tips, tricks, stuff like that that I've learned being a detailer. Uh, but I've got some simple products that I use. Uh, really, the, the brand isn't all that much important, um, but their function is. And uh, we'll go over first, we'll go with this little guy here is for cleaning the grips. And since I have white grips, stuff like that, what you want to do is just saturate a paper towel like so. I'll not walk through the shot. But this helps. So yeah, just clean everything off of them. And flip over to a clean side. And these are pretty clean. You can see that they're pretty clean. But still, I wear these gloves that have a like a black palm to them. And what they do is they just deposit dirt and stuff like that, as you can see there on them. I do this, you know, whenever I see that they're visibly dirty. The second, second thing is, uh, this is more of keeping it just nice and clean overall and keeping the finish in good shape. Um, what I use first is, this is a wax and grease remover. And this is more of a prep for what we're doing next. Uh, I start, I always start with a clean bike. I don't use uh, water or anything. I don't hose this thing down because I mean it's all steel and the paint and stuff like that is super thin. So what I will do is grab myself a handy dandy little microfiber and this is the wax and grease remover and this is to prep it for the ceramic coat you want to take all wax and grease and everything off of it and you just wipe everything down the best you can and do keep in mind this bike is always clean so if you have a, a dirty bike then maybe what I would recommend is doing like a detail spray first and then the wax and grease remover as this will take off all residue of any sort of contaminants that you have on top of the paint job itself. And then you take this rag, put it aside. You don't want to cross contaminate rags. Always use a fresh uh, microfiber cloth per uh, chemical that you're using or chemical or, or process. But this is what I use on a lot of my clients' cars. And so you just want a, a quickie, cheap kind of ceramic spray or detail that lasts about, I don't know, six or so months. On this bike, I do it every three months just because you know, sometimes I do go through some puddles and I, it's just so nice to have everything just beat up and fall off. But again, don't spray anything directly on anything that you're working on. You spray it always on the microfiber first. Let's pull it up like so. Go over all the surfaces that you clean. And obviously this, this bike, I do this to this thing a lot. This is just a demonstration of, of how I keep it clean. Try and keep it, this rag away from the chain as much as you can, because it will contaminate it. But you let this product sit for a little bit and on cars, you can see when you apply it, it will rainbow a little bit. And that's what tells you it's ready to wipe off. Uh, right now it's about 70 degrees inside this garage. So pretty fast uh, flash time on it. And then that's, that's your rag that you're using for application. You take a, another clean rag for removal. And wipe it all back down. And what you'll see is the more times you do this, and you can repeat this step. Uh, it's sometimes I do it twice. It doesn't seem to hurt it. Um, or 
make any sort of difference as far as how uh, the product goes on and its longevity but it just adds a little bit more gloss but you can feel how shiny and smooth it is I'll bring the camera in for a second here and show y'all you can see how bright and shiny that's all become now and this stuff that I do use is extremely hydrophobic and again I'll bring it in this is, I'm not sponsored by anything this is not an absolute endorsement um, you use what you think is best whatever fits in your budget this is pretty cheap I think this is 10 bucks something like that but um, yeah it's pretty easy to to apply pretty easy to do they do make the same company does make uh, wet waxes and stuff like that this is a wet wax I do have a spray detailer which is also good for in between uh, coats if you don't feel like stripping it every time but if you're if you're going to ceramic coat your bike with this product every every time you do use this make sure that you use this which is a wax and grease remover and if you don't have wax and grease remover you can mix uh, alcohol and isopropyl alcohol or uh, not water and isopropyl alcohol together and it makes it nice and easy very budget friendly but I thought this video might be helpful if you wanted to maintain the finish of your bike keep it looking nice, keep all the mud and dirt and everything from sticking and make it uh, very easy to maintain uh, the finish every single time. Anyway, hope that helps. See y'all in the next one.